a very good morning to everyone uh, in today's class we are going to deal with uh, sinusoidal sequence and uh, few more concepts related to z transform by applying the properties of z transform we are going to uh, have a few uh, problems being solved and uh, let me uh, start today's class with uh, a few videos of z transforms being already shared in your uh, class group and i'll be uh, sharing this video which is a recorded version of again i think uh, most of them are having problem in your uh, internet connectivity i agree to it and uh, let's start today's class okay so with a bit of uh, basics of z transforms as i already uh, told you in my previous uh, videos you can just uh, refer it and we had covered uh, the introduction and we had covered few uh, sequences where you have the left handed sequence right handed sequence and a double sided sequence and also you are going to have the few standard sequences like uh, unit step function and today we are going to discuss about sinusoidal sequence ramp sequence and all so previously we had also covered the properties of the z transform where we had linearity property okay next we had the time reversal time shifting and time multiplication i mean sorry exponential multiplication and the ramp multiplication okay and uh, we are going to have the convolution of the time domain also okay we had discussed a few topics and it is documented and it is sent to you okay and uh, the videos of it is already being shared in your uh, class group i think you will be able to go through it so you have to compulsorily go through it okay so before coming to any of the class it is better that you write down your notes okay so make a, a notes or keep a copy of the notes uh, to refer i might ask anyone in the middle so it would be an interactive discussion in the days to come and we want such discussions to improve as we proceed okay so now let us uh, discuss in today's class about the sinusoidal sequence sinusoidal sequence sinusoidal sequence okay so as i already told you the sinusoidal sequence uh, x of n would be sin of omega not n u of n omega not n into u of n so this is the sin function and this is the unit step function which is there so how i can write the z transform of x of n so z transform of x of n would be equal to x of z so which is equal to sigma n equals minus infinity to plus infinity x of n multiplied with z power minus n so this x of n here is written like this sigma n equals 0 to infinity that is sin of omega not n z power minus n so this u of n here it is a unit step function this is a unit step function okay as i already told you it's a unit step function so its value will be 1 and 0 for n greater than 0 and n less than 0 then right so now how i can write sin omega not yeah this is n this is sin omega not sin omega not n so that is e power j omega not n minus e power minus j omega not n divided by 2j this is 2j okay so that's how i can uh, write it and i'll be using this formula here okay i'll be using this formula here so what i can do here is i'll be replacing n equals 0 to infinity so how i can write it i can write it as 1 divided by 2j e power j omega not n minus e power minus j omega not n multiplied with z power minus n so i can write it as 1 divided by 2j sigma n equals 0 to infinity i have e power a j omega not n minus e power minus j omega not n that is multiplied with z power minus n okay so how i can uh, do here i can just uh, have another multiplication 1 by 2j sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity e power j omega not n 
मल्टीप्लाइड विथ जेड पवर माइनस एन माइनस ई पवर माइनस जे ओमेगा नॉट एन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ जेड पवर माइनस एन ओके आई थिंक यू नो हाउ आई कैन प्रोसीड फ्रॉम हियर ऑनवर्ड्स सो हाउ डू आई प्रोसीड फ्रॉम हियर ऑनवर्ड्स आई कैन हैव ए पवर एन ओके सो दिस सिग्मा मल्टीप्लीकेशन आई मीन सिग्मा कैन बी यूज फॉर बोथ द थिंग्स हियर I can write it as one divided by two j sigma n is equal to zero to infinity. I can take n as the common term e power j omega naught z power minus one whole power n. Okay, minus. Okay, I can write it in brackets. Sigma n is equal to zero to infinity e power j omega naught z power Minus one. Okay, this is also minus here, so I can whole multiply with power n. Okay, I can write it as this function. So this term here would be sigma n is equal to zero a power n one divided by two j. That is how I can write it one divided by one minus a. This is a here. So this entire term e power j omega naught z power minus one. Minus one divided by one minus e power minus j omega naught z power minus one. Okay, so I can write it as e power two j. So this would be the ROC which is present there. Okay, so for each of the ROCs from the properties of ROCs, it is nothing but the intersection of two ROCs when it is added or subtracted. So you are taking the intersection of ROCs. So what I can do here is. I can have z divided by z minus e power j omega naught minus z divided by z minus e power minus j omega naught. Okay, I can do it like this, and I'll be having this term as the x of z term there. Okay, so on further simplification, what you can do here is I can have x of z to be equal to z sine omega naught divided by Z squared minus two Z cos omega naught plus one. Okay, so what I can do here is so this one would be for mod Z greater than one. Its ROC is mod Z greater than one. So this entire term over here will give me mod Z greater than one here. So this term over here, so you can write it as mod Z which is greater than one. It it would be the ROC. So considering it to be a unit circle, okay. So Z minus one the whole square, okay. The whole square, and uh, you can write it like this, okay. So two, uh, I mean you can write it in uh, uh, such term. You cannot write it as Z minus one. Sorry. So you can write it as Z square minus two Z cos omega not plus one, okay. So where its ROC is mod Z. Would be greater than one. So taking it as a unit circle, taking it as a unit circle. Okay. So this is the Z transform of sinusoidal sequence. Z transform of sine omega naught n u of n. So that would be equal to Z sine omega naught divided by Z squared minus two Z cos omega naught plus one. Okay, where its ROC is mod Z greater than one. Its ROC is mod Z greater than one. Okay, so this is how I can uh, write it uh, in a simple manner, and I can take its ROC. Okay, so now uh, what I can do is I can give the uh, sinusoidal function can also be written as x of n cos omega naught n u of n. Okay, so Z transform of cos omega naught n u of n. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Sir, it is omega naught or om naught, sir? Omega naught. See, it's a nice question that he has uh, asked. See, for a continuous time signal, it is omega naught. Okay, so yes, in discrete time system, it is represented as om naught, but while expressing, I can write it as Omega naught. So omega in terms of discrete systems. In terms of discrete time systems. 
in terms of discrete time system i can write it as omega not okay so this yes, one sir. is for the continuous time system this one is for the continuous time system and this one is for the discrete time system okay i hope uh, i have answered your doubt yes sir okay then. thank you so now uh, to obtain this cosine function here so i'll be taking again the z transform so the z transform of cos omega not en u of en okay i can uh, i think uh, anyone can take this uh, problem i will be giving it to likit likit uh, if it is if he is there in the meeting i think he can uh, take this down or else uh, by today evening you would be able to send the solution for the z transform of it okay so just inform him and uh, let him do it and n is equal to 0 to infinity cos omega not okay u of n is already there that is z power minus n so this limits whatever i have changed it is for u of n so once you have the multiplication of two signals being present there so you are going to have it as a right handed sequence there so you are going to take it as like this at 0 it will be 1 so it will it would be something like this okay so the cos function would be something like this and the sine function would be like this okay so how i can write it so i have expressed it for n greater than 0 there right so this would be for the right handed sequence alone okay so this would be alone the represented for the right handed sequence okay you can give a try uh, to obtain the z transform of cosine function and you can share it with us by today evening now the sequence uh, what i would like to express here is the ramp sequence x of n would be n times u of n so this is nothing but the ramp sequence this is nothing but the ramp sequence so x of n would be equal to n into u of n so how i can write it as z transform that is x of z that is equal to sigma i'll directly write it as 0 to infinity i know that u of n is a unit step function that is n into z power minus n okay so n into z power minus n so how i can write uh, in terms of the infinite summation formula can anyone recall i can write it as n into a power n as the infinite summation formula you can just make a note of it infinite summation formula infinite summation formula n into a power n so i need to express like this so what i can do here is n is equal to 0 to infinity n times z power minus 1 whole power n so this is a here okay so this is a here so in place of a it is z power minus 1 that is a divided by 1 minus a the whole square for mod a less than 1 for mod a less than 1 so what i can do here is i can have z power minus 1 divided by 1 minus z power minus 1 the whole square so i can write it as z after simplification z minus 1 the whole square is it uh, verified okay so z power minus 1 if i can uh, change it like this what i'll be doing so i'll write it here so 1 by z divided by 1 minus 1 divided by z the whole square on simplification you will be getting z divided by z minus 1 the whole square so now how to express here so i have written it as mod a less than 1 so it's roc it's roc mod a in place of a it is z power minus 1 under mod less than 1 there okay so what i can do 1 divided by z under mod less than 1 okay so next what is present here so mod 1 by z less than 1 so i can write it as mod 1 less than mod z okay i can write it like this or else how i can express it mod z would be greater than 1 okay mod 1 i can uh, generally take it as one unity there so it can be written as mod z greater than 1 as the roc okay so roc is nothing but the region of convergence region of convergence which results in 
finite value region of convergence okay roc very important concept here so how we are going to determine the roc of certain sequences which is present there okay so i think uh, it is quite clear to each and every one of uh, you people and uh, i think we are going to have uh, uh, two more problems which can be discussed okay so now a given problem would be like this find the z transform of find the z transform of okay find the z transform of x of n which is equal to alpha power minus n or a power minus n whichever it is u of minus n minus 1 alpha power minus n which is u of minus n minus 1 okay so now i have this uh, z transform which is given as alpha power minus n times u of minus n minus 1 okay so now you can generally uh, look into this uh, unit step sequence what it is it is a left handed sequence left handed sequence it is a left handed sequence so this here which is uh, 1 by alpha i can write it as 1 by alpha power n u of minus n minus 1 okay i can write it like so 1 divided by alpha whole power n so alpha to the power minus n can be written as 1 by alpha power n u of minus n minus 1 okay so now this is how i need to express and how do i take the summation so i have x of z which is equal to sigma n equals minus infinity to plus infinity x of n z power minus n recall the mathematical way in which a z transform can be obtained i'll write it here mathematically mathematically it can be expressed as it can be expressed as expressed as this function over here so this x of n can be written or replaced here i can have sigma n equals minus infinity to plus infinity alpha power minus n u of minus n minus 1 z power minus n so i have this u of minus n minus 1 whatever i have here so this function would be valid its value will be equal to 1 only from minus infinity to minus 1 so not zero okay so u of minus n minus 1 its value its magnitude would be equal to 1 so that is from minus infinity to minus 1 and it is said to be unity so n would be from minus infinity to minus 1 okay alpha power minus n z power minus n okay so this is, that's how i can express it okay so now what do i have in the next uh, line is so sigma n equals minus infinity to minus 1 alpha into z whole rise to the power minus n then okay if i have minus n i need to make a substitution there right so if i have minus n i can make a substitution so where n can be replaced substituting substituting n so i am calling a new variable here okay so just to make sure that i don't get uh, uh, caught up in the middle so i am calling a new variable where this new variable will be expressed easily okay so just to make my solutions simpler i am calling a new variable say m i am making a substitution for n equals minus m okay so in the summation in the summation so what do we get we get okay so x of z that would be equal to sigma so let me go back to whatever i have written n equals minus infinity to minus 1 minus infinity to minus 1 so that is alpha z whole rise to the power minus n whole rise to the power minus n alpha into z whole rise to the power minus n so together uh, i rise it to the power minus n then okay so when when i have substitution n equals minus m so what do i do i have minus n equals m i have minus n equals m so this is n in place of n i have minus m that would be equal to minus infinity 
and similarly so for those uh, who are finding it div difficult how to change the summation limits and all so in place of this is n equals minus 1 also so in place of n i'll be having minus cm that would be equal to minus 1 okay so please be clear about how do i change the summation here so this minus sign get cancelled alpha into z minus n will be raised to the power m so that is sigma m equals infinity to 1 alpha z to the power m so that i can write as sigma m equals m equals 1 to infinity alpha z whole rise to the power m okay so that's how i can write it i can write this in other way where i can write it as m equals 0 to infinity alpha into z whole rise to the power m so once when i expand the summation okay see here i have used this one and i have modified it as the entire equation as 1 minus sigma m is equal to 0 to infinity alpha into z power m right so now how did i change it so if you give summation as 0 what will happen so this function here if i expand the summation what will happen so this will be 1 plus sigma m is equal to 1 to infinity so if i expand this what i'll be getting so i'll be getting 1 minus sigma m equals 1 to infinity alpha z power m that is 1 plus so this function here entire summation function here would be equal so this is one and e one and the same whatever i have expressed here so this is also same this is also same here so this one and one will get cancelled and uh, that is how i can express and i can write it isn't it so in order Excuse to, me, sir. yeah go ahead sir it is summation minus one no sir one minute one minute one minus sigma okay so minus one get cancelled oh okay i don't have a minus here sorry i thought it is minus here so we don't have a minus and it's better that we interchange it so sigma let me erase here thank thank you thank you and uh, one minus would be there so i can express this as i mean i need to erase this one also yeah okay so now uh, according to whatever the summation that i have expressed here so that is sigma m equals 0 to infinity alpha z power m minus 1 so if i change it to minus 1 there so if i express it as 1 okay so one uh, i can write it as sigma m is equal to 1 to infinity alpha z power m minus 1 and this would be 1 here so whole the thing uh, get cancelled and you are left out with the same function there so that's the reason why i can uh, express it as uh, this function as m is equal to 0 to infinity and i can include minus 1 okay it is just like expressing in another way okay so the previous one what we had done in my recorded videos was 1 minus so this is uh, the change where it is the expression minus 1 so thank you for uh, uh, noting me that uh, change what i uh, what i have changed right now so thank you i think I, I had done a mistake there i accept it yeah so now what i can write here is i have sigma m is equal to 0 to infinity alpha z power m that would be so how how i can express 1 divided by alpha z where mod is alpha z okay mod alpha z would be less than 1 okay so now i can write it as 1 divided by 1 minus alpha z minus 1 okay so at the end you are left out with minus z uh, divided by z minus 1 by alpha okay so after mo modifying everything you are going to have uh, this function as minus z divided by z minus 1 by alpha so can anyone tell me it's roc can anyone tell me it's roc yeah alpha z would be less than 1 so that is what i can uh, write it isn't it so whatever the values of uh, alpha into z it is there so it should not be equal to 1 it should be less than 1 and what i can do here is i can have 
a function that is mod z less than alpha to the power minus 1 under mod so mod z less than 1 divided by alpha or 1 which is generally a mod 1 divided by mod alpha so this is its region of convergence region of convergence region of convergence so mod z less than 1 divided by mod alpha okay so i can uh, express it in such manner that fine so now moving on to the next one i have uh, the second problem i can give it as x of n that would be equal to 5 2 minus 2 1 1 and minus 3 okay so find x of z find x of z and its roc x of z and its roc i can give this uh, problem to iman khan i can give this problem to iman khan okay third one so i can find out the z transform of certain sequences like this one find find the z transform find the z transform of the following of the following discrete time discrete time signals discrete time signals okay and include its roc include or you can write it as uh you have to find out the roc roc for each roc for each so now what we had done previously uh, we had covered only one signal and we had to find out its uh, roc and it was quite simple there right so once two signals are being given okay so two signals are being given so how you are going to express a roc so you are going to express its roc as the intersection of one of the rocs of first signal and the inter like the roc of the second signal there right so that's how you are going to express rocs as the intersection of two different signals roc okay so that is one thing which you have to keep in mind and you have to have intersection it is not union okay so i have seen uh, people writing it as union it is not the way and it is the intersection or what i can write it as it is the annular region of two signals where you can express it right so any doubts any doubts before i uh, i think one of you is on unmute can anyone un like unmute yourself i think i am not able to see you okay so this is the given problem the first problem second one yes i think again you can uh, mute yourself okay so now what i can write it here is i can have x of n that is 2 power n u of n the first problem plus 3 1 by 2 power n u of n okay so i want to find out the z transform of x of n that is i need to perform the z transform of 2 power n u of n plus 3 1 by 2 power n u of n so how i can write it i can write it as z transform of 2 power n u of n so z transform of individual signals can be applied plus 3 times z transform of 1 by 2 power n u of n 1 by 2 power n u of n so what is its uh, z transform can anyone tell me what is z transform of 2 power n u of n z divided by z minus 2 recall uh, the function and you can have uh, mod z okay mod z is the entire z plane 
at except at z is equal to 2 so i have mod z greater than 2 or mod 2 because we are going to have the unit circle so mod z greater than 2 would be the roc of the first signal okay so the roc of the first signal is uh, mod z greater than 2 and its z transform is z divided by z minus 2 plus 3 so what is its roc that is 1 by 2 power n u of n so you have okay so roc of the first signal this one roc of the first signal is mod z greater than 2 and this signal would be mod z greater than 1 by 2 okay so i need to have the intersection of these two signal right so i can write it as the roc in the second signal is 1 by 2 where mod z will be greater than 1 by 2 i can uh, express it easily here so roc if i want to find it i can have the real part of the imaginary uh, like the complex root and uh, this one is the imaginary part okay so i can have z is equal to 1 by 2 as the radius and i'll write it like this so next z is equal to 2 i can write it like this okay so i have this entire z plane over here and i can write it uh, like this okay so this is z is equal to 2 and z is equal to 1 by 2 here so at the end in uh, the first term i have mod z greater than 2 and the second term will be mod z greater than 1 by 2 okay so what i can uh, write here is the intersection right so mod z greater than 2 intersecting with mod z greater than 1 by 2 so i have crossed 1 by 2 and it is the entire z plane now if i uh, have an intersection of it so what would be the region there right so now i can have the entire uh, thing where i can write it as mod z greater than 2 okay if it was within the region i can have uh, the function being interchange it is greater than 1 by after i cross 1 by 2 i have to reach 2 here okay so this would be the entire roc but it is this one here so this is the roc here so this is not the one okay so this is the roc okay so if i have the intersection being done so the this would be the z plane and this is for mod z greater than 2 i can have this region so i have one more roc which is mod z greater than 2 i can have the entire z plane written here okay so this is how i can express the signal x of n and i can write its region of convergence region of convergence region of convergence and i can express it as roc there okay so you can multiply it and you can uh, keep the answer it is uh, not a problem and uh, i can give two more problems uh, which i can uh, do it or i can give it to someone else uh, this b uh, suchitra can be able to do it suchitra vb okay this one sagar gauda okay so problem number b and problem number c uh, given it to suchitra and sagar gauda respectively i think they are going to come out with uh, a solution within 8 pm today and they are going to post it in the class group okay so meanwhile uh, let me stop uh, sharing and let me stop recording also i think only 33 have attended